This video will guide you through the steps of batch editing multiple MindTap activities. The batch edit feature allows you to make customizations to many activities at once. You can change settings like graded or practice, points possible, and due dates. Let's begin by looking at the outline view of your learning path. Click Expand All so that you can see the numerous activities within your learning path. Turn the Edit Toggle switch to On and notice that a checkbox now appears to the left of each activity. Select the folder or unit to select all the activities within that container that you wish to customize. An orange checkmark will now appear next to each activity. Click the orange checkmark next to any activity to deselect if there is an activity that you do not want to customize with the batch edit action. Note that the orange bar tells you how many activities you have selected. Click on the Batch Actions drop-down menu and you will notice four options. Hide Selected, Show Selected, Edit Dates, and Edit Settings. Let's walk through each of these options. Select Hide Selected if you wish to hide the activities you have checked. You will be asked to confirm that you wish to hide these activities. Click OK to confirm. To bring back those that you hid, turn the Show Hidden Toggle switch to On and select the activities you hid. Under Batch Actions, select Show Selected and the hidden activities will be available again. Note that Show Selected is grayed out as an option if you do not have any hidden activities. To batch edit dates, select the activities that you wish to assign the same due date and time and under Batch Actions, select Edit Dates. Use the calendar widget to assign a due date and time, and then click Done and Save. A success message will appear that your dates have been updated. Click OK. Suppose you set your assignment due dates and then need to shift them a week later due to a snow day or another class cancellation. Select the activities that you want to shift and select Edit Dates under Batch Actions. Select Shift Selections and enter the number of days that you wish to change the due date, either forward or backward, and then click Save. A success message will appear that your dates have been updated and the assignments will reflect the new shifted due dates. Click OK. Now suppose there are multiple activities that count towards a grade and you wish to change them to practice activities so that they don't count towards a grade in the MindTap gradebook. To find them, first click on the All Activities filter and select Counts Towards Grade. As you scroll through the learning path, notice that there will be folders or units that carry a message. All activities in this section are hidden as a result of the current filter. This message confirms that the filter you indicated has been applied. Select those assignments that you wish to make practice activities and under Batch Actions, select Edit Settings. Click on Practice and then click Save. A success message will appear that your settings have been updated. Click OK. To batch edit the number of points that assignments are worth, click on the All Activities filter, select Count Towards Grade, and then select the activities that you want to edit. Then. Select Batch Actions, Edit Settings, Change the Point Value, and click Save. Sometimes there may be conflicts in the batch edit process. This occurs when you have a selected group that does not all conform to the same settings change. If so, then you will see a Settings Conflict message. In this case, there are six changes requested, but only two of them changed because four have conflicts. You would need to go to these assignments and change them individually. Or, in this case, the requested change had been to make all the activities integrated activities. However, video applications, video problem walkthroughs, and the interactive book do not have the option of becoming graded, so no changes were made to these activities. The four conflict settings assignments will remain marked with an orange check mark so that if they could be changed individually, you would be able to quickly see those activities that had not been changed and act accordingly. One final note, all these batch edit changes will also be reflected in the rolling week view. 
Thank you for completing this video training for MindTap. For additional help or resources, please visit our training and support sites or join the higher ed community to engage with your peers.